This is a, a major mistake I think that, that people make and they, especially new people, and that is that they mistake being busy with being productive. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. Specifically, and this is the cardinal sin, I, I believe, of especially doing cat property claims on a, on a major deployment, really any deployment, and that is brand new people will do this and even experienced adjusters that that feel a lot of pressure or they they kind of let their schedules run away with from them they'll go out and they may even be told to do this right they'll go out day one and they will scope all day long every day and then they'll maybe they'll go to the help room at the at, in the evening for a couple of hours before they close or they'll go back to the hotel room and stay up until 1 30 or 2 in the morning and try to start writing those up right so if you scope six in a day and especially if you don't know Xactimate very well and you're, you're, it's, you're sitting there learning Xactimate as you go, maybe, maybe you can do most of the work in one that first day that night, right? You're not going to close it because you don't know how to close it, right? Um, why is this such a bad thing, James? Because you are going to get into a hole that you cannot dig yourself out of because you've overpacked your schedule with scoping. You don't have enough time to write it. OK, by the time you get around to writing it or you haven't written it, you've got an insured who's already calling the insurance company going, what's the result? Where's my money? Where's my check? What's going on with it? You got a contractor following up. You got everybody up your rear and your manager's going, hey, you looked at this three days ago. Why isn't it turned in yet? Or you looked at this last week. Why isn't it turned in? Yeah. Well, uh, because I, I've got to be I'm, I'm getting to it, but you, you can't do it. I mean, it's luckily I took some good advice from somebody. And I never got into that habit of overscoping, but I've seen so many people doing it. And as a manager, one time I would see people do it. One of the things that would blow my mind is this is kind of a sidetrack from this. Um, a guy will get a phone call going, Hey, I'm, can you go out here and run some claims for us? It was okay. Well, they dump 25, 30 claims on the guy. The guy schedules them. He flies out to wherever it is that he's going to. He spends three days, four days scoping everything jumps on a plane, flies back home, all right, and then starts writing his claims. And then as he starts turning in claims, they start giving him more claims, and he calls you on the phone going, hey, man, why are you sending me claims? I'm not out there anymore. You know? <laughs> well, that explains why you haven't turned your stuff in. It, you know, because I'm about to call you and go with Right. You, you know? And, uh, boy, that, if you want to get... Yeah, you need to go back out on this one. You know, or if you missed a photo, or if you something went wrong... Guess what? You jumped on a plane going back out, or we're yanking all your claims from you. Or, I mean, we've even done it. I'd even seen it where a guy just overscoped and he wasn't getting them turned in, and they yanked all his claims and just sent somebody else back out there because you did. A, you knew because he yep. overscoped, the quality is not going to be good. So, uh, Calvin at uh, MoCat, he popped a thing up on uh, uh, LinkedIn recently about some bad advice that people had received. Go scope everything today, write it tomorrow. Or just scope for two days, then spend a day writing. Which is horrible advice because nine out of ten times you forget what you had for breakfast that day. Okay? And how right. are you supposed to remember all the details? And some people say, well, my, my, my photos are my scope notes. Okay? Oh, um, that's the worst idea. You know, it, if, you're, if you take a lot of pictures, maybe you can get away with that. Okay, um, but if you're waiting two or three days to write your claims, you're going to forget so much about that claim. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 